My name is Charlotte Dubock, and you are watching Stoned, Viceland's contribution to the great British marijuana debate that's been raging over the past 50 years. That's right, cannabis is without doubt the UK's most popular drug, with half the country convinced weed is a harmless recreational plant whose only dangerous side effects are an increased tolerance for bongo drums, whereas the other half is insistent that it's a social menace that turns its users into work-shy, Dorito-chomping criminals. On today's show, we're going to be settling this argument for good by running a series of entirely scientific experiments, all of which have taken place in the Netherlands, where consumption of cannabis is legal. Our award-winning Viceland Brainiacs will prove, once and for all, whether weed makes you a creative genius. Um. <laughs> if smoking actually does give you the fear. But I'm not scared of you. Which makes you stupider, weed or booze. I have been drinking a lot of shit wine. How quickly a dope smoker's mind turns to shit after toking. Does cannabis make you a dangerous driver? Can spliff get you laid? And if you're incapable of doing your job when you're high. Did you want to talk about drugs? This show is apparently called Stoned, which is not quite the scientific, serious, journalistic vibe I was hoping for. Hopefully it's just a working title. Um, but anyway, it's time to introduce my literal partners in crime, starting with this guy here in the creepy white lab coat. Who are you? My name is Guy Jones, and I'm a drug scientist. Hopefully, I'll be providing a little bit more of the scientific perspective about what's going on in the experiments that we're running today. Hopefully. And on my left, we have Ian. Hi, Ian. What's your relationship to this divisive herb? Well, I have early onset Parkinson's disease with a prominent tremor. And through research on the internet, I found people who were treating their Parkinson's symptoms with cannabis. And so I did try it, and it, it works. Squad is present and correct, so I think it's time to um, fire up the hot box, please. Although we're all about real science here at Viceland, and because real science tells us that it's impossible to OD from marijuana, we thought it would be funny for me and my guests to try to present this show from inside a hot box. And we're not talking a car or your mum's bathroom with a couple of people sharing a spliff. We're going to try to break a world record hot box. Now, as far as we know, the current world record is 442 grams of dab chucked on some burners in a room in Canada. Sadly, dab is illegal in the Netherlands, so this hot box is going to be powered by these guys from the London Cannabis Club and Voyager's Coffee Shop, attempting to puff their way through a full half kilo of this lethal looking bud. And even if we fail, we reckon we've already broken the record for most middle class people ever to have squeezed into a confined space. So that's something. I'm not a participant in the experiments. I'll need to be a scientific observer, so... I'm also masking up. Some people have all the luck. Nice work if you can get it, Guy. Yeah, coat. It's time for experiment number one. We're going to observe three test subjects as they get increasingly high and take part in an awkward social situation. Will weed make them more confident or turn them into a gibbering, stinky mess? Anything to add, Guy? A lot of people think that cannabis worsens social anxiety, but on the other hand, there are a number of people who are using cannabis to successfully treat anxiety, and it's being used very successfully as well for post-traumatic stress disorder, a very severe anxiety disorder. As you might expect from this duality, there's not a great level of scientific consensus on exactly why cannabis has the effects that it does on anxiety. We're here to change that. So, tell me what, tell me what you're about to do. I'm about to do speed dating, and in between each date, I'm going to smoke some more weed and see if um, that kind of has an effect on my performance. Oh, your um. <laughs> I feel like it's going to go so badly. Oh, here? Hello. 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 How's, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good. Do you do this? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm so nervous. I ain't smoked it. Well, I did earlier, but I ain't smoked it. 
Yeah, like that. No, not yet, but I'm gonna go get stoned in a sec it? and it's gonna switch and switch and switch. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you. Date one, sober, how was that? Yeah, it was all right. She seemed quite fun. Date one, sober's all right. She's really, she's really nice. That was horrible. All right, cool, let's go. OK, I'm feeling more confident, let's go. Thanks, how are you? What's your name? My name's Max, what's your name? Brit. 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 Like British, no-ish. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Hello, how are you? Very well, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. That's blonde hair in my country. Brexit's a weird one, isn't it? Oh, wow. You like Harry Potter? <laughs> right, I have to go and get a smoke more weed now. Nice to meet you, bye-bye now. Good luck. <laughs> how is this going to change you? This, this, I don't do bongs and it's hash as well. It's going to fucking kill. See, it's still it's actually it's fucking harsh. <sighs> All right, let's go. Date number three. Number four. Hello. Hi. What's your name? How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. My name is Buddy. Buddy. Nice to meet you. Bo. 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 Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, he's a weird one. Yeah, it's, it's very weird. Would you, why, why'd you get out of bed in the morning? No. Oh, my God. What are you up to tonight? I don't have any plans yet, actually. Just come out with us. I will. Yeah. Um, I think it's a mixture of I'm feeling more relaxed in the situation and I'm probably feeling more relaxed because I'm smoking weed. I don't... Oh, God. I don't know. How much of a perception of yourself do you have when you're high? I don't know. What was the question? No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favourite colour? Your stuff. No. Is that everyone's first question? Yeah, very deep. Yeah, very deep. Well, uh, how about yourself? Are you, are you very deep? Are you deep like that too? I think I was born awkward. I got lost in a sea of horny men in the red light district. <laughs> what's, um, what's, your, what's your lucky number? Six. Why six? Mine's two. Two? In case you were wondering. There was a two. No. All right, it's nice meeting you. <laughs> um, for me, it just it obviously became more fun when I got stoned. It became more fun when I got used to it, innit? I think I got used to the vibe, got more relaxed still. I think it was cool. How about you? Fun for you? <laughs> okay, I think then, she's still, still stoned. Still she's still stoned. She's still stoned. I just, I wish it never happened. OK, science has shown us that nine hits from a bong is definitely unhelpful when it comes to being sexy. Before we move on to our next experiment, let's check the progress of the hot box. I'm stoned. I'm stoned. <laughs> I'm definitely stoned. Are you not? No. Time for experiment number two. Currently in the UK, booze is legal and weed is not. But which makes you stupider? A drunk test subject and a stoned test subject are given a set of keys and told to unlock a door. What they don't know is that none of the keys will work. Who will figure this out first, the stoner or the pisshead? Uh, Shall we tell my name? Uh, no, just tell me, just tell me the answer. OK, so I smoke, it's a joint and a half. And right now I'm going to try to open a door see how fast I'll deal with the task. Should be fine, now. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of shit wine in the last hour. Fuck right. me. Crazy. Do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking win, man. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. OK. Fuck. <laughs> OK, nope. Nope. Fuck. Oh, my God. It's so Cool. But you know, this reminds me of like um, some sort of philosophical metaphor. Guys, I'm gonna panic now. I think it was Socrates said it, you know, when you're really drunk, you cannot open the door. <laughs> <laughs> or I can't open. How are you getting on, Ola? Fine. No, I'm not because I'm losing. Arla's gonna win. Why don't you give up? I'm not giving up and I know what you're trying to do. What am I trying to do? It's finished. 
You do not have the key on, what, on this. It's a different brand, isn't it? <laughs> so open the door with your keys. It's on there, look. May it? No, it's not. And right now I'm just panicking, you know? Oh, no, I'm not giving you them. Open it yourself. It's in your hand. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're way too thick. They're not even going into the thingy. What did you make of that guy? Oh. Who was stupider? Well, I would say there was a, a fairly clear winner there with the drunk subject rapidly identifying that the correct key was not on the keychain. Still to come on Stoned, more actual science, as one of our test subjects proves that being high as fuck is no impediment to interviewing a pop star. Um, so you were born in... Uh... <laughs> 1984. No. And shit gets real in the hot box. This man telling me that not to be anxious. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Welcome back to Stoned, a queasy marriage of scientific spliff busting and an attempt at breaking the world cannabis hot box record. Um, <laughs> it's already really smoky in here. How's everybody doing? How are you yeah. feeling, Ian? Okay. Is it having any effect on your tremors? No, nothing yet. If I get enough smoke, then I expect it to it'll calm down completely. Uh, <laughs> 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 right. So let's get on to our next experiment. Um, we're talking about creativity, and a lot of people say weed can make people more creative, or at least want to play the didgeridoo a lot. So definitely, uh, with disinhibition comes the possibility that people's minds may wander, and right. that is by definition what we would call creativity. So that's what's happening to me now, I'm being creative. Yes. But nobody can tell. It's just in here. They'll see. OK, let's see someone else doing it. The Beatles, Bob Dylan, Harold and Kumar. For decades, people have argued that weed can turn anyone into a creative genius. We're going to put that to the test. Three test subjects will get incredibly high and take part in an improvisational acting class. Will weed bring out the genius in our volunteers? Do you perform better when you're sober or when you're high? Most probably when I'm high. Not too high. It just gives me the... Uh... Uh, pleasure to let go. <laughs> She's freaking out. You got two stones. <laughs> Basically. We're going to do a, I think it's a comedy improv thing. Do you think you'd perform better sober or high? Sober. Oh my god, I wish I wasn't high right now because I I'm shitting it, it's gonna be so bad. Do I seem nervous? I'm really nervous, can we start? <laughs> oh my God, I'm never re-watching this television show. I will start by saying um, some line for, for like a, a, in, this, in this group rap, right? And it will end in a word that is easy-ish for people to rhyme with. It is not the goal here to try to fuck people over, okay? The, the way we're gonna do it is um, we're gonna be talking about Will Smith and you're making up fake facts about Will Smith. So in between people, we all as the chorus go, what else don't we know about Will Smith? What else don't we know about Will Smith? Okay? Ready? Here we go. Yeah, we ready. What else don't we know about Will, Will Smith? Smith? What else don't we know about Will Smith? Will Smith's face is made of gold. What else don't we know about Will Smith? Will Smith's house is really old. What else don't we know about Will Smith? Will Smith's son is very bold. What else don't we know about Will Smith? He doesn't like to be told. What else don't we know about Will Smith? He's a very famous man. What else don't we know about Will Smith? He likes to stay very cold. What else do we know about Will Smith? He likes number two chicken from the boss man. What, what else do we know about Will Smith? His favorite typesetting is always bold. What else do we know about Will Smith? What else do we know about Will Smith? Oh my god. And you're gonna start a new one. I know, I know, that's why I panicked. Um <laughs> Can it be it? It can't be very long, can it? 
Okay. Well, I mean, ideally it would fit within the meter. Right. Ideally it would fit in the meter, but it's okay. I had an idea, but I'll just throw that out. Um, Will Smith has hairless rats. What else do we know about, about Will Smith? Smith? Yeah. Will Smith is allergic to cats. What, what else do we know about Will Smith? Smith? But he's very fond of all his hats. What, what else do we know about Will Smith? He has an amazing way of talking to people. <laughs> so let's try to rhyme. I agree, so, I agree. So, so, so this time around is, is rats. Yep. So we're trying to, we have rats. You said cats. Yeah. You had cats. cats. So we want to rhyme with that. <laughs> okay. So let's get a line, any, any made up line about Will Smith and it's going to rhyme. There we go. Yes. yes. Chats, he's a great one. Our chat shows is Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else do we know about Will Smith? He's got 5,000 pet bats. What else do we know about Will Smith? Um, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Science has spoken. Weed does not make you more creative, even if it does help you realise how little you knew about Will Smith. But how are things going with the Hotbox record attempt? You might have noticed we're two men down, um, but luckily it's not the last we're going to see of our hand because he features in our next thingy. <laughs> Weed's negative effect on short-term memory is legendary, but we're going to see if its bad rap is justified. A test subject will get very high and attempt to learn some new facts before instantly having to use them. Guy, you're up. So cannabis use certainly has a good reputation for impairing people's concentration while they're stoned. And what might be responsible for this is a sort of runaway thought patterns where people are on task and on topic in their mind and then a tangential thought pops into their head and they start thinking about that and with the short-term memory inhibition they lose track of what they were supposed to be thinking of and then follow that kind of thought down a rabbit hole that they're not supposed to be thinking about. Fuck is that? I mean, clubbers. Oh, and I clap us. No. No, oh, come on. One more. Loud. Hold on, hold this, hold Again? this. Hold it, hold it, I'll do it. Hold the camera. Today we're testing my ability to see how well I can remember information given to me while high and see how well I can hold it together while uh, in an interview with an artist. So um, I'm going to smoke a little zubi, get high, read some information off the Wikipedia, and then go to her live gig. Raw. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck my... <laughs> Fuck Viceland. <laughs> All right, save you, man. Ra, she's like legit. Right. Right, her real name is Emily Moss. Ra, she was born in Hong Kong. She's been active since 2006. <laughs> she's released three studio albums. <coughs> uh, anti folk or indie folk. <coughs> Fuck my grave. <laughs> All right, cool. But we're now going to go inside to her gig and interview her and base our questions on the facts that we've just learned from her wiki page. <laughs> hey. Hey, Moshe, right? Yes, you're welcome. Hello. Hello. Amy the Great. Hi, I forgot your name. Al the Great. Al the Great. Yeah. That's a, a coincidence. <laughs> no, Do you I'm... want a, a drink? Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> uh, I'm good, I'm good. What are you drinking? Water. Mm. Nice. So, um, I want to ask you some questions. OK. So I, I was reading on your Wikipedia page. Um, Just now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, so you were born in... Uh, <laughs> 1984. No. What? That's a mistake. All <coughs> oh, right. But what, is that was my? <laughs> it's not your fault. Yeah. Wikipedia no. has it wrong. Yeah. But uh, was my um? You're very close. Was my guess? Your, uh, your memory the... of Wikipedia <laughs> is super good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I was born in 83. 83. Yeah. All right. Cool. 
Um, can we have some of this fruit? You can have, it's vegetables, but you can have as much as you want. Do you eat, do you eat plenty of fruit? Um, I eat more vegetables. Stuart, are you sure you don't want a coconut water? Stuart? My name's Alhan. No, I said, are you sure you don't want a coconut water? Do you want one? Can we take a step outside? <laughs> yeah. Anais? Come on. You all good? Let's go outside. Okay. Did you bring your pen with you? Are you sure he didn't smoke weed? Um. So what do you, what do you say? <laughs> 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 no, I couldn't, I couldn't do an interview, man. Because, like, everything was in my mind and I knew exactly what I wanted to ask her, but I couldn't get it out. And then when she was saying stuff back at me, that's what really threw me off as well. Because I was, like, already planned. I was like, yeah, I'm going to ask her this, I'm going to ask her that. But then she was like, fucking Stuart and fruit. I was like, Ugh. You know what I mean? So, um, nah, I don't think you can interview while high, actually. So there was the dreamy Alhan the Great. Um, trying to learn things. D did we learn anything from that? I definitely think that there was a negative impact there for Alhan. I think I'm catching him up. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing now? Oh, a break. We've got a break. I'm going outside. No, 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 no. no. We're introducing a commercial break. Oh, fuck. OK, I was meant to introduce a commercial break, but I thought they were letting me have a break, but they're not. They're slave drivers, these weed peddlers. Um, watch a break, but don't not think about me. Coming up on Stoned, our dedicated team of scientists will attempt to determine whether weed can make you gay. Some real, uh, real deep anal penetration. And my abilities as a presenter are in no way compromised by the hotbox. <sighs> OK, go. Welcome back to Stoned, the show where we let science do the talking because I certainly can't because I've been in this cannabis hot box in Amsterdam for hours, but they're going to make you feel like it's only been half an hour. Ah, OK, go. What's next? An experiment about what? So... Go. What is next? What is next? It's about can you hide how high you are? The next experiment is about hiding how high you are, if it's possible. I mean, I've given up. So, some people can really pull it off quite easily. What tends to really give it away is bloodshot eyes because of the cannabis making the blood vessels in the eyes dilate. Uh, so we'll see in the next experiment whether or not any of our testes can pull it off. Testes? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, they are technically testes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it when he said testes. <laughs> it's the only thing I heard in this whole spiel. In this experiment, an expert in stoner spotting will attempt to discover which of our three testes is actually stoned. Just to fuck with him a bit, one of them will have smoked a placebo, so will think she's high, even though she isn't. That's some real science right there. Uh, we just do one. All right. Well, so what, do, what should I do? Uh, just pour it just down, that's fine. Now? From here? Yeah. I'm Thomas, and uh, I work as a bouncer. And uh, yeah, I did clubs, uh, yeah, basically a lot of clubs for the past 10 years. No one's gonna hide from me, man. Um, I ate cake. I ate a uh, space cake um, for breakfast, so um, I feel a little bit spacey. Well, I uh, used a vaporizer for the first time. I do feel my eyes start hanging, though. Hanging? Hanging, because if you're high, I don't know, kind of lose control. I'm staying on that water. I'm, I gotta stay sober. I like that 
<laughs> Only this one, I think. Can you come here? Well, she looks a bit high. Which one? You step back, please, man. The, the middle one, the lady. Yeah, she looks a bit stoned. Small eyes, the same over here. And uh, it looks over too. But only the middle one, I guess. But your body would be the, just middle girl. Yeah, middle girl, yeah, definitely. And Sophie even tried eye drops too. It doesn't matter because her eyes are shut. <laughs> so, so they get they get thick underneath, you know? You were absolutely right in this one. And uh, <laughs> Sophie was the, actually the only one who had actually exposed it. The rest were sober. So yeah, oh, it's nice work, man. Yeah. Once again, actual science has spoken. And thanks to increased dilation of ocular capillaries, that's red eye to you fuckers, you cannot hide your high. OK, it's been half an hour since Guy, Alhan, Ian and I entered the London Cannabis Club's hotbox record attempt. Let's find out if the weed has had any effect on Ian's Parkinson's tremors. We've had to step outside, all of us, because it was really getting too intense. I'm gone in the brain. I don't know if you can tell. Ian, I think you almost feel like it's time to head home. Yeah, I've, I've got the desired effect now in that my tremor's under control uh, and I don't want to get stoned. So I'm going to duck out now and go to bed. Don't blame you. Save yourself. You can have the <laughs> best night's sleep in your life. <laughs> Godspeed, Ian. Dream about okay. candy for This fist bump. I'll reach me. you. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for experiment number six. Some people think that they become temporarily gay while they're high. We're going to test that. So cannabis could certainly have an effect on people's sexuality. It slightly reduces inhibitions, and with sexuality not as something where people are either gay, bi, or straight, but maybe more as a spectrum, it could well be the case that people who are already slightly along that spectrum feel happier to explore those feelings while they are intoxicated. So this is my uh, penis ring which uh, is apparently going to tell me whether or not I'm gay. Here goes, eh? <laughs> the uh, experiment is going to detect whether I am sexually excited by gay porn or not by measuring the blood flow through my penis. And these guys are going to measure my dick and how aroused I am. We're also going to do the experiment once sober and once high just to see as to whether there is a difference between the two or whether I'm just secretly gay. <laughs> do you want to struggle yourself mm -hmm. at the basis of your dick? I don't know whether this thing's big enough for me. Is it, is it clean? <laughs> <laughs> got quite hairy, hairy balls in that. Does that make a difference? you all struck in? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. No, oh, no, no, we're good. T to the base, yeah? Oh my god, dude. Three hungry and hairy bear vids. It's it, doesn't it? Mm. So let's start. These guys are big as fuck. And some um, some real uh, real deep anal penetration, um, just like a lot of dick, you know. I'm watching gay porn on a Sunday. <laughs> It's not even Sunday, it's a Wednesday. Okay, ready? I'm ready, man. 
and go get it. Yeah. Like, I'm really not homophobic, but this is just not for me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did it feel different anyway? It definitely felt different. It definitely felt different, man. What do you think the machine says? I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what, I think there was a bit more life. I think there was a bit more life in me there. Over the whole time, I can tell you that you are actually just genuinely more aroused throughout. And actually, the second time round, you were consistently more aroused than the first time round. That was exactly. <laughs> And therefore, it seems to suggest that you were indeed enjoying it more. Um, I definitely agree with the higher blood flow. <laughs> so what are you trying to say, like? I don't know, what do you think the conclusion is? Smoking weed makes you a bit gay. That's insane. You enjoy it more? No. Well, the machine doesn't lie. <laughs> the machine does lie. Call the Nobel Prize Committee. Our Viceland scientists have definitely proved that smoking cannabis makes you gay. Facts. And they all rode off into the sunset happily ever after to bang like rabbits. Well, we'll see. The machine because lied. Maybe it did indicate a slightly higher level of arousal, but whether or not that tells us that weed makes you gay, not so sure. Thanks, Guy. What's next? I think we're going into a break. Oh, a break? OK. Um, right. <laughs> um, I need to come up for air, and I think we have some commercials to show you. Coming up in the final part of Stoned, a journalist gets very high and attempts to interview this nice lady. Does she want to talk about drugs? And although I don't remember it, I say this. Fucking ugly bunch, aren't they? Oh, dear. Welcome back to... Stone! Thank you. Alhan. <laughs> I'd love it if you'd stay and do my job for me, but I you're leaving us. Um, Why? I don't feel... I'm calming down now. In fact, Alhan is the reason we've stepped outside of the Hotbox record attempt again. As just minutes before this link, he looked like this. Are you sure I don't have to go to the hospital? <laughs> one more lap, one more lap. Don't you feel flowy? You, you feel, you're gone. Don't ask me how I feel, man. Don't get deep with me. Oh, sure. <laughs> First time of blessing. She's a lightweight. But, um, yeah, man. No. OK, so. Gonna, gonna have the best sleep of my fucking life. No? OK, have Kick some back. for me. I'll be sure to. Sweet dreams. Thanks. Good effort. Time for our next experiment. In US states where cannabis has been legalized, law enforcement agencies have had immense difficulties in finding a way to tell whether a driver is over the limit for weed use due to the way cannabis breaks down in the body. Like a bunch of science-loving narcs, we're going to find out whether or not weed makes you a worse driver. Yeah, so we're gonna do a, a driving test. Uh, first one sober, next one uh, weeded. on cannabis. <laughs> yeah. Heavily, heavily, yeah. weeded. heavily weeded. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see what the effects are. Oh my, close. GTA driving, man. No, he's going well. Yeah, he's quite uh, overconfident, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> oh. Is it my right away? He's, he's looking very good. Very composed at the wheel. Oh, the, the weak points, the, the speed, 
Uh, vehicle controls, excellent. 9.9 .9 there. Quite a good score, yeah. yeah. I feel high. I told him, put your lighters up. I'm in the perfect state to drive. I think I'm nervous again. And all these people on the side just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? Different from before in any way? I'm just a bit more chill. Oh, I'm losing it, man. I'm freaking out. What's going on there? I forgot to put it in first gear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on the other side of the road. Other side, yeah. You're still going too fast. Yeah, I'm just seeing straight road and thinking, hey, put your foot down. The lesson is over. Oh. Yeah, safety score improved. Driving skills the same. Oh, yeah. Viewing behavior is low. <laughs> Some erratic, yeah. No, I think he was looking <laughs> focused. Just yeah. focused on the road and not about his surroundings. See? So that's a, what, a good thing? No. No, it's a bad thing. So <laughs> you won't see uh, uh, <laughs> traffic from side streets. Should we be encouraged to smoke and drive? No, I don't think we could encourage that. From that experiment, it seems that they're overall driving safety improved, but it was a quite significant improvement in some areas and then actually a reduction in other areas. So they were very observant of the road, but for their surroundings, they weren't as observant. What's next? Everyone says cannabis makes its users anxious and paranoid. To test whether this is actually true, a range of test subjects will get high and play a virtual reality horror game. Will they be adults about it? Or will the weed contribute to making them shit themselves like little babies? Is someone going to come at me? Oh, my fucking God. Ah! <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, look at that thing flying through the air. It's a spider, a giant spider. <gasps> You keep coming back, but I'm not scared of you. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Ah! I don't want to see them, I'm gonna go. Ah! <laughs> I can't even look, my eyes are closed. Fuck you. Just a thing for it, come on, let's get it there. Another like, neurological know, world first, the Viceland science crew have proved oh that weed can make a not too scary computer game absolutely fucking terrifying. <laughs> Ooh, Oculus Fifth. I tell you what else is scary this hot box world record attempt. I'm not into it. I feel like I'm going to be stoned for the rest of my life. Um, I feel like I'm somebody else. Who that is? Is I won't know until I watch this back. Um, so yeah, cool. I hope you're happy to walk backwards all the way back to our hotel because I am. That's where I'm going. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Sadly, it turned out that contractually I wasn't allowed to go back to my hotel. Damn you, Viceland. <laughs> For our final experiment, the Viceland scientists are going to prove whether the claim by weed haters that you can't do your job when you're high is true or not by sending a journalist to interview a notorious public figure whilst they're totally baked. Unfortunately, because consumption of weed is illegal in the UK, we had to fly our journalist to Amsterdam, where she consumed a brownie pumped with some grade A Mary Jane before immediately catching a plane back to London. Because weed that's eaten takes around two hours to kick in, we calculated that our test subject would just be starting to feel bollocks about 15 minutes before the interview. She's probably all right, really, isn't she? OK. 
Casey Hop. That's a great start. Casey Hop. Hop Hop Kiss. <laughs> That. Tell us about how you feel about losing your recent libel case. I think there are some big strategic learnings from it. It was weird. You know, you've been on Fox News, which is um, hardly a bastion of uh, reliable journalism. You're you said true. that we were cowed and we were not cowed. I think. Being stoned really impacted on the way that I did the interview because I didn't know how the sentence was going to end as I was saying it. People kill people in America all the time because they've been completely taken away with Christian, an extremist version of Christianity. You yeah. think that's true? Yeah. OK, we'll, yeah. we'll agree to differ. Do you want differ? me to just tweet you some examples later? No, I don't like... want you to tweet me at all, thank okay. you. OK. I think she just thought I was thick. Um, I think that there are lots of different issues. Lots of different issues. That's a non-sentence. That doesn't well, mean anything. It's, it's, it's not a non-sentence. There it's... are lots of different issues. That That's something a three-year-old could say. And she's just kind of like talking to me. And it's like, I'm not really reacting. I love it. I love talking to people. And when people pretend to be kind of antsy, I love it even more because I know behind there there's a person that's desperate to laugh. And I know that if I was fat and had a regional accent and was a bloke, you'd find me pretty funny. <laughs> Can we, are we done now? I don't know, really. I mean, what is there to say? Something. Try and be sparky or witty or funny. Or maybe change your face shape. I don't know, something. No, nothing. No one's laughing, Katie. No. Right. That's quite serious. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Did she want to talk about drugs? I don't think she think I was stoned. I think... See you later, Chibar. See you. Bye-bye. Well done. You nearly, totally nearly smiled. Totally nearly smiled. Um... For a better test of cannabis's effects on a professional journalist, let's go back for one final time to the hotbox, where, according to those Viceland bastards, I had to do one last bit of presenting. I need it to be over. Is it the end? What do I need to say? They're not even listening, look. I think whispering. this is the end of the record attempt. Oh, yeah. I can breathe in we here. We didn't break the record, did we? we I don't think so. Record. I'm not ashamed. I think I've done bloody well. It's not for everyone. I think we have clearly <laughs> established that some people could sit in a room and chain smoke the largest joints I've ever seen in my life and really quite enjoy themselves. And for others, Mad it's not a pleasant experience. Yeah. We're made of different stuff. Hmm. <sighs> Can we go now? Smoking weed is not for me. There is one other person who's been in the room the whole time without a gas mask on, and that is Ryan, the trooper cameraman. Is this thing even recording? It's not even got a card in it. I don't think they even plugged a card in it. There's a bank of people laughing at us. I feel like a zoo, do you know what I mean? I, I know. Feel like <laughs> a rat. in a fishbowl. Like a lab rat. This is so like, lame. They're all just looking at us and looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking ugly bunch, aren't they? Oh, dear.